Now, Alinsky is a very smart guy. He would have known for sure that the Ku Klux Klan was, for almost the entirety of its history, an organized element of the Democratic Party. The progressive historian Eric Foner says, for 30 years, the Klan was the domestic terrorist arm of the Democratic Party. Alinsky knew this. But what advice does Alinsky give to these young leftists? He says, listen, don't have posters, because that's the usual leftist claptrap. He says, all of you come dressed as Klansmen. And then when the Republican speaker begins to speak, you just jump up and down and cheer wildly so that you have created a media event that makes it sound like the Klan loves the Republicans. So here's a classic example of straight-out deception, historically invalid, in fact, the opposite of the truth, a big lie if you want to use the term of my new book. But Alinsky had this uncanny ability to realize that you could use the big lie effectively to extract concessions.